So back home, just outside of the city of Chicago, we're in Downers Grove, Illinois, and we're going to run through a couple of liquor stores. First stop, Cheap Cheap Liquors. We're going to see how really cheap, cheap it is. Okay, here's the whiskey aisle. Hotel Tango, Thomas Moore, Marshany Barrel Proof. That's not a terrible price. Which Discovery Series is this? So we got seven and eight from Bardstown. The Origin Series. So we got the pin hooks. And then the old elves are seven old elves are seven. Um, both the rye and the bourbon. Those are great prices for that. Sazerac rye, obviously coming from Buffalo Trace, $27.99. That's not bad. Ooh, I haven't seen a bottle in bond from uh, Starlight in a long time. We've got the Black End West Henderson and Rabbit Hole. Stellum. This is coming from Barrel Craft Spirits. The Equinox one's pretty good. Okay, I was hoping for the nine year, but I've heard great things about the Lucky Seven Holiday Toast. That might be what we're leaving here with. Penelope. All the Penelope. Rabbit Hole High Gold. We did a review on that a few months ago. Fox and Odin, I'm seeing that pop up a lot more recently. Oh, wow, look at all the barrel bourbons. It's 12, 13, great prices on them as well. Batch 22, Vantage, so one of my favorites in the video that just dropped, uh, as I mentioned. This is one of the ones I always have on my bar. Uh, but did you know that on the bottom right, it'll actually have what blend it is. So. Uh, that is blend one on the Vantage. This is the sixth batch that they put out for Barrel Seagrass. So cool stuff there coming from Barrel Craft Spirits. Rima 6, the 2022 version. I think that that's better than the 2023 version. And here you go. Uh, the Milam and Green Gales. They're doing great things for this company. Milam and Green. I like the Unabridged the best. The small batch is pretty good. They don't have either one of those here, uh, but I, that, that's what I would recommend. So Blue Run, uh, I've had some people who said that they're not a fan. Um, oops, I guess that's a magnet. And then you've got the old Forester line, which is hard to beat. Okay, Fourgate. Uh, I've only had one pour of Fourgate. I've heard great things about all this. But I don't know if I could spend 240 bucks on just an eight-year bottle, and I believe it's MGP. Um, what do you guys think? Toss that in the comments. Oh, here's a good one. Uh, huge. The straight rye, the tenure, is very good. And then look at all the Kentucky Owls they've got. Pretty good pricing on that. Maybe a little high on the Confiscated. And then the Horse Soldier. All the smoke wagons. Okay, J. Henry and Sons. This is one that really intrigues me. This is out of Wisconsin. $59.99. I hear that their maple cask is really good. So it's out of Dane, Wisconsin. I think that's just outside of Madison. And... Kind of a hodgepodge over here of a bunch of stuff. New Riff, Belf War. And then we get to the Jack Daniels. Probably the most absurd price I've seen on anything so far was just that. Pretty good collection here, though. 
I gotta say, I gotta give props to these guys. They've got uh, a lot of stuff that you would normally probably find behind a counter in most stores nowadays, especially those Kentucky Owls and even this Black Maple Hill, Oregon Bourbon and Rye, but they've got it on the shelf here, so good on them. Looks like they've got the Cigar Blend. $99.99, thank you. Founders Edition. That Maester, so if you toasted the Heavy Series, this is really good. If you haven't had that yet, at the black top. Nope, that's the green top. And then we just talked about Knob Creek 12 in the last video. Great everyday price and great shelfer there. Will it purple top? Different purple top, the weeded purple top. And then you come down the line. Russell's store pick, and then all the barrel. These are great. Even some of the orphan barrels. So, great selection here, guys. You can come check these guys out. So, turns out Cheap Cheap Liquors is actually Cheap Cheap. Uh, picked up pretty good price on this Milam and Green single barrel, the white label. Haven't been disappointed with anything that I've had from them yet. So, we're going to give the single barrel a go. And we're going to keep moving on here in the Chicago suburbs. We're currently in Downers Grove. Let's see where we can find something else and see if we can find any cool other bottles to go grab. So, anytime I have friends or family over to come over for dinner or for a drink, the first thing that they notice when they step into the bar is my whiskey tower. It's one of the coolest things that I've gotten this year and it makes making a drink or just getting a pour of your favorite bourbon so easy. So it's, as you see, basically a beer tap for your bourbon. And what's cool is they have several different sizes. These come in single tower, double tower, or even triple tower. And the fine folks over at Whiskey Towers are giving all you barrel heads and fans of barrels and barrels 10% off. All you have to do is click that link in the description in our bio or just head on over to whiskeytowers.com. Use promo code WHISKEYWEATHER in all caps right there at the bottom of your screen and that'll get you 10% off your order. Whether you want to get this for yourself or hey, we're heading into the holidays, this would be a perfect gift for one of those bourbon lovers, whiskey lovers in your family or one of your friends or if you're looking to get a loved one a gift for Christmas and they're a huge bourbon lover, this would be the perfect gift to get them. So head on over to WhiskeyTowers.com, use promo code WHISKEYWEATHER in all capitals, or just click that link in the description and you get 10% off your order. So thanks to Whiskey Towers. Now back to the video. All right, next stop, we are now in Glen Ellen, Illinois at Malloy's Finest Liquors, right down the street from that Binnie's that we hunted that you may have watched that video right here on the top right corner. We're going to see if we can find anything cool, what their prices are and what we can walk away with. Okay, right off the bat, some store selections, a Still Austin Cast Strength store pick. They're normally pretty good with their store picks. And then just the straight bourbon whiskey. High, Matt, uh, High Road Rye, Hard Truth. So that's going to be their 93 proof rye or Everything else is usually about 114, 115. And this looks like one of their single barrel picks. It's a $74.99. If you haven't had anything from Hard Truth, you need to. It's fantastic. Beautiful and the damned. So I believe this is MGP. Really cool label on this. Beautiful in the dam. Owned and managed in Chicago, distilled by MGP of Indiana, Lawrenceburg, Illinois. Then bottled by Lost Generation Bottling in Bloomington. So this is a combination of a 75, 21, 4, and 60. So it's a blend of their high rye and their low rye. And as you see, filtered water, barrel staves, Char 4, Grail Heads Char 2. So that was the Never Surrender. What about Man of Leisure? Leisure. So this is the Rye, 95.5. Again, Lawrenceburg, Indiana. And even another store pick, Dancing Goat 
orange bitter finish. Seven years. And then you got maple syrup with it as well. Only $49.99, Dancing Goat. I believe this is out of Wisconsin. Yep, Cambridge, Wisconsin, Dancing Goat Distillery. So limousine rye. So rye whiskey, and it seems like it's finished in an orange bitters barrel for six months. So definitely gonna get a lot of that orange and citrusy. Man, they've got all the store picks. Table of store picks. What do we got here? Nulu, Starlight, so port barrel, and then just a Rick House Select. Doing well, how are you? Seeing a lot more of this Octa coming up. 21 years. 99 bucks. So you're getting, it's a brandy. 21 year old brandy. Out of France. Whiskey Acres store pick. Not bad pricing for some store picks. $54.99. Let's see what else we can find. So it looks like this is their whiskey section. Let's look around. So some Irish whiskey and some scotch in the case. Like the blue one, 16. All right, let's go. Old Elk. Been on the hunt for the new cigar batch. I've not been able to find that yet, but I've heard amazing things. Kinnard and Drake. This is a new one to me. Lebanon, Indiana. Boone County Jail Distillery. Hmm. Boone County, Indiana. I live in Boone County, Kentucky. Buzzards Roost. Old Forester. What is J.H. Cutter Whiskey? A blend of American whiskey, so it means it's not a bourbon. Distilled in Bardstown and San Francisco. Product and bottled by Hodling and Company, San Francisco, California. Huh. That's a new one to me. Just grabbed that My Lemon Green down the street for about the same price. This is the one I was talking to you guys about earlier, is that small batch. The brown label, very good. Seeing a lot more of this Driftless Glen popping up on social media, and you can find us on Instagram there as well. Taconic, we did a review on that a few weeks ago. Their maple bourbon, I've heard good things about. Jepson's. So here you go, JTS bottled in brown, uh, JTS brown bottled in bond. I was just talking about that in the latest video that we posted, and you can check that up on the top right. It's one of my always have to have a backup. So here's seventeen ninety nine. Just showing you, it's affordable, it's good, it's a hundred proof. What else we got? Chattanooga, Davies County, Ben Holiday. We just did a review on this as well. Hardens Creek, this is the two year, $79.99. It's nowhere near as good as the other ones, which are 15 and 17 years old. We're gonna keep going back to this Ben Holiday Red Wheat. You guys can check out that review right here on the top right of the screen. Very good. If you haven't heard of Five Trail yet, this is made by Coors Whiskey Company. Yes, that Coors. Um, New. They've got a couple different, I believe Berman's as well is one of theirs. And here we get to Lucky Southern again. The Frenchman and the Workhorse. Still looking for that nine year. And here's more Still Austin. Their cast strength rye. We also have a review on very good stuff. And I think that this is a great price and a great bottle to grab. The cast strength bourbon as well. Smoke Wagon Halloween Edition. Obviously, your wild turkeys. You got the rare breed. 
newer label. And then the 10 year, it's also in that video I mentioned. Double Oak Peerless. So we've got the Double Oak Peerless Alloys pick and then the Double Oak Bourbon, $89.99. Hey, the Tabasco Dickel. Anybody want one? Or Blue Run, and then we get to the Bargetown. Great prices on these Bargetown Origin Series. The rye I haven't had yet, but this is right where they should be. That's right at MSRP. All right, here we go. Barrel. Here's the Umbarana that we were talking about earlier. Again, 80 bucks right there. We just did a review on that. If you want to check that out, that's on the top right. And then we've got the rest of the barrel line. Vantage, Seagrass, Dovetail, some private releases, the Armida. Then down below that, ooh, Cigar Batch Store Pick. And a Honey Store Pick. Rogue Spirits. This is a new one to me as well. It's a pretty cool looking bottle. Looks like the old National Barrel Company bottle. This is distilled in Newport, Oregon by Rogue Spirits. Huh. $69.99. Then you got the Willets. And all the Penelope's that you want, except the Rio. But you're not going to find that anywhere. All right. The Bourbon case. Old Elk. Borgate, Murray Hill. Oh, and there's the Bardstown collab with Goose Island, local brewery here. $159.99. What was behind me? Okay, Buzzard's Roots pick. All righty. So here's your hard truth. It's even signed. Store pick. This is all the rye. Mayor Pingree. So the Char One Buzzards Roost, fantastic. Barrel, barrel and bottle. I think this is out. Uh, this isn't the one out in. Nope, that's in Wisconsin. Never mind. More Rogue Spirits, Rye. And Rittenhouse right there on the bottom. Here's a look at the prices. It says Rye $29.99. That's about right. Okay, what's over here? All right, there we go. There's the nine year. Probably leaving with that. Redline, ooh, the Ambarana, or is it the Mongolian oak? Mongolian oak, Redline. If you haven't tried that, you need to. Very good stuff. They've got a new um, hive one, which is supposed to be a rival to the Rio. The Lucky 7-9, the Hold Up, okay, Dark Arts. We've got a bourbon finished in a Madeira wine cask, and then it looks like we've got a rye whiskey finished in maple syrup barrels and toasted Ambarana oak steak. I bet that is yummy. Brand new to me. That is in Lexington, Kentucky, but I believe it's still distilled out in Lawrenceburg. So there we go. Yellowstone 100 toasted. It's a little bit higher than their regular 93. Cigar rye. I bet you that's fantastic. And then Stoning. Um, I have seen a lot more of this out there lately. The Danish whiskey. See that up there. This has got more of a peaty scotchiness to it. Uh, this is a triple malt. And then we've got the rye whiskey. So... 
and then copper end cask, store pick. Ooh, samples available. That's fun. And then the Starlight Cigar Batch. That's an Ambarana, I believe, as well. Yeah. Okay, so walked out with the Lucky 7, nine year, as well as one of those bottles of Beautiful and the Damned. All right, next stop, we're in Lombard, Illinois, at Famous Liquors. Been here a couple times, usually overpriced on a couple of things. Let's see if they'll let me even film inside. So we'll be right back. All right, first thing you see is this World Whiskey Society, all the awesome toppers. Really cool stuff there. Smoke wagon. Hey, Eagle Rare on the shelf. Yeah, hard pass. 99 or 109.99. Woof. It's kind of ridiculous. Purple top weeder. E.H. Taylor Small Bench. It's less expensive than Eagle Rare, and it's still $99.99. Booker's, $120. Scotty Pippin's Whiskey. Definitely overpriced here in most things. One, scene two, Midwest, High West, a Midwinter's Night's nice Dram. That's way overpriced as well. I just got one of those in the mail for 115. Henry McKenna, 99.99. These are ridiculous. Question, would you pay 99.99 for McKenna? Or 200 bucks for a Midwest, uh, High West Midwinter? Midwinter's nice dream. I have a feeling that the ownership here has changed. Yeah, totally. That's way overpriced. Baker's 13, $400. Yeah, you're kidding me. Three Knob Creek 18s. Kentucky Owl, 500 bucks. Oof, 400 for the Masters Keep. Okay, they had Old Forester birthday bourbon for $999.99, so that's a hard pass. Let's see if we can find one more stop before we head home. All right, last stop of the day. We are at Sales Beverage World in Villa Park, Illinois. I've been here a couple times. I've gotten some pretty good bottles here before. Let's see what single barrels they've got available and what's going on inside. So sales wouldn't let me film inside, but I did get a chance to look at their selection and their shelves. Pretty decent selection. Prices are relatively at the norm, a little high on some things, but they had the best price I've seen on a Booker's yet this year at $89.99. That was for the 2023 03 batch. I was tempted, but uh, I figured I'd just walk out uh, and go find something else. As far as what I did walk away with, of course, Milam and Green, that single barrel coming from Cheap Cheap Liquors there in Downers Grove, and then Malloy's in Glen Ellen. Grab the Lucky 7 Nine Year. Of course, you see, I already cracked into that a little bit. I'm really excited about this beautiful and the damned, a six year old whiskey from MGP, brand new company. Got to meet with the owner actually just a few days ago. Really cool stuff coming out from that. So if you see this bottle, go grab it, $85.99. They also have a cask strength that's coming out that I got to try. That is uber good as well. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't done this already, please smash that like button below. Comment what was the bottle you saw in this video that you would like to buy or you would have bought on the shelf. And if you haven't done so already and you're a fan of what we're doing here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below as well. Stay tuned for more from Barrels and Barrels. We'll be back with more reviews, bourbon hunts, and maybe some more of our top five.